Kili Eames uh, on the line. Uh, Mary Lou, is it Sinn Féin's position that abortion should be restricted to what is provided for in this bill, or is Sinn Féin in favour of a more liberal abortion regime? Well, Vincent, we're in favour of the passage of this legislation to make absolutely sure that where a woman's life is in jeopardy, uh, that that woman's life is protected. And that's what this uh, legislation purports to do, to codify that which is already uh, lawful, and we support that. We do take the view that in cases of incest, uh, in cases of rape, uh, that the option uh, must be available to a woman who finds herself in those circumstances. So uh, tonight, though, uh, and this process, which has been a very lengthy, very long debate, uh, we have a, a long uh, debate going on at the minute in the chamber. Uh, a lot of positions are being articulated. I have to say nothing new, nothing that we haven't heard over the last number of months. And the battleground for this evening is simply on the issue of saving a woman's life, where that life is in jeopardy, where all other uh, remedies have been tested and failed, and where in a good faith judgment by the medical practitioners, uh, in conjunction with the woman, the view is taken that to save that woman's life, uh, that a, a termination be carried out. It is, as you say, restrictive. Uh, and in fairness to the government, they have been absolutely crystal clear all along that the, the legislation would be restrictive. That's what it is. It's 21 years uh, overdue. Uh, I think there's been a lot of uh, very heated uh, reaction and commentary around it. I think some of it has been utterly overblown. Uh, I take the view, and we take the view, that it is always the ethical, the moral, and the good conscience thing to save a pregnant woman where that woman uh, will lose her life. And that's how restrictive this law is. Okay, Fidema Iliam, uh, uh, are you happy with what's happening? No, Vincent, I'm certainly not happy. Um, this bill is fundamentally unsound. It's based on a very unsound premise, and that is that if a woman, in pre a pregnant woman, um, is expressing suicidal thoughts or suicidal intent, that an abortion will cure her. That is fundamentally wrong. We have had two sets of hearings. We have heard over and over again that abortion is never a treatment for suicide. So we are now giving the impression we are deceiving women by saying that that is so. That is extremely misleading. I just met somebody local to me in Galway the other day and said, oh, she said to me, OK, so we give the woman an abortion because she's suicidal. In a month's time or two months' time, she's still suicidal after she's had the abortion. What do we do then? This is unbelievable stuff that we're putting into law, given all the evidence that we've heard that this is not the way forward. Fidelma, if what you say is true, is it remotely plausible that a number of, that a psychiatrist, is it one or two psychiatrists and an obstetrician would certify somebody as being, that abortion is appropriate for a particular person, if in if it should never be a treatment for somebody who has suicidal uh, ideation? I'm not exactly sure that I heard you properly, okay. but I think you this, mentioned about that you're I think you that it. That can, that you're saying that abortion can, should never be a treatment for suicide. I don't think anybody thinks it's a treatment for suicide. But if it is the case that abortion should never be contemplated in respect of somebody who has suicidal tendencies because they are pregnant, then is it likely that a, that a number of uh, uh, that psychiatrists and obstetricians would perform an abortion in such a case when abortion is not suitable? Well, again, as I say, if I heard so you properly, it couldn't happen. In, if what you say is true, it couldn't oh, happen. Oh no, no. Let's 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 call a spade a spade here, Vincent. In the UK right now, it takes two doctors to sign off for an abortion. And we have last year 190,000 abortions in the UK. But so we do know this. It's not because of suicide. We do, we it's not because people are claiming they're suicidal that they have abortions in Britain. It's because of other factors. And the other factors are not relevant here. No, no, no. The, the most common ground in the UK is the mental health ground. That's right. It's the most but common not suicide, ground. Not suicide. It, it, not suicide. 
but suicide is part of that picture Vincent. and it will be part of that picture here when we looked at the evidence worldwide it was the exact way in in okay. California we had this in, in New can Zealand I, can I we had this no, if I could just finish yeah. the point and despite the very best intention of lawmakers they could not restrict it so it's an absolute it's rubbish to say that this is restrictive legislation. The, so, uh, the psychiatrists have been very clear that they cannot predict suicide. They can assess risk, but they cannot predict. So to be cautious, they overpredict, And that's what we're going to see here. Uh, Who okay, could take Mary, that you want risk? To get back in. Can, 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 can I just say, um, firstly, just to be absolutely clear, there is nobody claiming that abortion is a treatment for suicide. Tragically, uh, as we know, uh, there is no well, have section nine in the building uh, for suicide. Section nine says very clearly that where a woman, uh, do, not, not that she has suicidal tendencies or suicidal ideation, but where the assessment is that a suicidal woman's life is in jeopardy. That's the first test. And secondly, where it is established that all other methods and recourse and treatments have been tested and failed. Then and only then, having passed those two very significant hurdles, is a woman legally entitled to the option of a termination of that pregnancy. That's and on that true. note, can I just That's say, true on it's, it's worth just reminding ourselves of, of the X case. And some people say, well, that was very particular. It may well have been, but it happened. A 14-year-old raped, suicidal child, a tragic case. And in that case, it was the view of that child's parents and subsequently the view of the courts that that suicidal child should not be forced by the state to carry that pregnancy to term, that that brutalised child should have and did have, in fact, in law, the option of a termination. And the, the legislation, I really think it's very unhelpful for people to uh, cause alarm in the way that Fidelma, whether by accident or design, is doing here. Ireland, this state, has, has, a written, has a I'm written constitution. It is an entirely different apparatus and setup to, to the one that pertains in Britain. And by any standards, to set the test of jeopardy, real and substantial risk to the life, number one, where all other t treatments have, have, have failed. And whereas an option of last resort, you save the life of the woman, is not, it is restrictive. It is extremely restrictive. It is also basic. Okay. It is also okay, absolutely Mary, necessary. Just get back briefly, yeah. Well, very briefly, we have given my colleagues in the Dáil, Lucinda Creighton, has offered Minister Riley an opportunity to ensure that a woman would have a treatment package and pathways of care. Minister Riley is not accepting that amendment. We do not know that a woman will be offered every treatment. She has to be. That's, we, we know for sure, we haven't listened to the psychiatrist, that if a woman has pre-existing mental health conditions, that she will be offered. However, a woman that's maybe experiencing acute stress because she's in a crisis pregnancy, not planned, not wanted, that if she expresses over and over and over again that she is suicidal, the psychiatrist must believe her. Okay, and she, ca they, she okay, cannot be forced to take care against her wishes. Look, okay, Mary there's Lou many, many other grounds. There's many Mary other Lou grounds, Vincent, you, that this uh, bill is flawed. Thank you for joining us. Um, uh, Niamh, um, it, it